Obviously, we know that private uh, vendors have an opportunity of imposing their own rules and regulations. It does not mean that we should not wear a mask when we're riding the subways or the buses. We are going to follow the CDC edicts, which thankfully President Joe Biden has followed, and of late, even Governor Cuomo. And they have said that if you can prove that you're vaccinated, whether you receive the two shots of Pfizer or Moderna, or the one shot of Johnson & Johnson, you should be able to go into the Empire Steakhouse, which is hosting this event today, on mass liberation, or any bar or restaurant or nightclub, and no longer have to socially distance or wear a mask. Now, if you choose to wear a mask, that's your choice. The other day, AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said she might actually end up wearing the mask even when the pandemic is finally over. And that's fine, that's her choice. And I know others may choose to do likewise. But this is our mask equinox day, in which we can celebrate that first phase of mass liberation. And we can also unify what was a very bipartisan issue. We can thank former President Donald Trump for pushing forward the vaccine and its creation and distribution, and thank President Joe Biden for the continuation, and thank all of our local officials for making sure it was available for those who choose to extend their arms, like I did. In fact, just yesterday at Jacob Javits Convention Center, I received my second Pfizer shot, which means I'm fully inoculated. And that means, according to the CDC, President Joe Biden and Governor Andrew Cuomo, I should be able to go into the Empire Steakhouse if I choose and not have to socially distance and not have to wear a mask. Although I do realize that some may want to continue on with that policy. That's fine. But we have to open up the nightlife of New York City. We know that many people come to New York City because it was, before the lockdown, 24-7-365, the city that never slept. And the other day, I rode the subways for 24 straight hours. As somebody who knows the subways better than any other candidate for mayor, because I've been riding them, protecting the passengers, the conductors, the motormen, those who work in the system for 42 years as leader of the Guardian Angels. That was the first wave of celebration. We're back to being a 24-7-365 city. But without the bars and restaurants that have been crushed during the pandemic, without the nightclubs which have been empty and padlocked, the city cannot fully return. So that's why it is a great celebration today. Great celebration and it can unify all of us.